Hey, what's going on guys? How you doing today? Hopefully you are fantastic. A couple weeks ago, I did a video on things that you should never say to a metalhead. Well, today we are doing things that a metalhead should never say. Things that if a metalhead said, they would be cast out. They'd be disowned, judged. They'd be burned alive. Forever saying these things. So if you're a metalhead, you better have never said anything that's on this list. Before we get started real quick, I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, Metal Amino, the Metalheads app. I have done a video on them before and I'm doing one again because I actually use this app and it's actually a great product. Now I rarely do sponsored content mainly because I only like to sponsor companies that I actually think are good things that I actually use, things that I think you guys will like, and the Metal Amino app is one of them. It has metal forums, it has metal blogs, you can go and ask questions, you can go talk to other metalheads, you can post about your favorite bands, you can post about your favorite guitar players, you can post about your favorite songs, you can talk different genres, it's amazing. You can go on and just literally make friends that are only into metal and sacrifice goats together. It's awesome. So I really recommend you go check it out. Go download it. Link in the description. Let's get on with the video. Sometimes I wish I could time travel back to the year 2009 when Screamo was at its peak and Rise Records was the king of metal. You just pissed off everybody on my channel right now. You just done did it. Just the word Screamo is so... Uh, I wish Creed would do a reunion tour Creed's not that bad. Check this new song. It sounds like Creed. Creed, you hate all you want. Creed had some dope songs back in the day, okay? I, lo I loved Creed back in the day before I realized what I was doing. Hey guys, I'm proud of this song. It came from the heart and I am also proud of my mix. This is very true. If you are a real metalhead, you, you will never say this. Because because we're never happy. We're never proud of anything we do. We always think everything we do is shit. If you're me, it usually always is. I love death metal bands like Black Veil Brides and I See Stars. They're really keeping the scene alive. <clears throat> the word scene is also not a good word for metalheads. Unless you say metal scene, but even then it's like, it's like, it's just, you're gonna trigger so many, it's just not. Blood on the dance floor is so heavy. XD. I don't even want to say it. I the the, the physical motion of saying rock ugh, just ah. Uh. I was at the mall about five or so years ago wearing a Slayer shirt and some scene fucks yelled from the Hot Topic store Bruh, that's dad metal. Bruh, bruh, I'm 13 and that's dad metal. Why don't you listen to good bands like Motionless and White? I actually like Motionless and White, so yeah. Dude, we should cover a pop song. We'd probably get way more popular that way. Not very true of you. I mean, if you're trying to be true. Hey, you check out that new Sleeping With Sirens album? So fucking heavy. Whoa. Hey guys, I just got the new Nickelback CD. You have to check it out. So what? Ah! I love Justin Timberlake. Not kidding, I really do. He's great. It's pretty attractive too. I actually thought that last One Direction album was pretty brutal. That's a bit of a stretch. I don't think you're ever gonna see someone who's a metalhead that will ever say that. Ever. Please in the comment section if you have a friend who actually said that and don't don't bullshit me Like don't lie and be like oh, I'm gonna be the one guy who gets like 200 thumbs up in the comments because I'm gonna say I had a friend who said that If you actually have ever heard somebody say this because I doubt any metalhead has ever said this But if you have heard any metalhead say this I totally love that band their song Insert band's one popular ballad is the best. Okay, yeah, so that's like saying, I love Metallica. My favorite song is Enter Sandman. But what if it is? Musicians are too greedy. Playing gigs and asking for money? How materialistic. You fuck. You stupid, ignorant piece of mother. I don't need to support artists. They're gonna earn a lot of money anyways. That's why I'm pirating music. Metalheads have a very, I, I think anyway, at least I hope, they have a very, strong code of conduct. It's like an honor thing, you know? It's like they understand what it's like to struggle and make zero money and have people just like 
walk all over you when it comes to money and getting paid. So I do feel like that the metal scene is probably, oh shit, I literally just said metal scene. I feel like the metal community is a lot better about this and probably wouldn't say that. I hate vocals that I cannot understand without reading the lyrics. Metalcore is the best metal genre and you're not a real metalhead unless you listen to it. Sounds like something I would say. We should start a Nickelback cover band, but only recent Nickelback. If it's not on Dark Horse, we don't play it. Are you suggesting that old Nickelback was any better? Our most important member is the bassist. Actually, I think metalheads respect bass players more than anybody. Like metalheads, like real metal. Not like metalcore, not hardcore, not deathcore, like metal, because they understand that that bass is a very important thing. But I feel like the hardcore and the metalcore and the deathcore genres probably are just like, fuck bass players. I follow Glenn Fricker. Fuck every bass player. Don't you fucking dare cut that mic. Don't you cut that mic. Metal is so cool. Pass the mic's hard lemonade. What are you saying, bro? You won't get these hands. Get these hands. Bring Me the Horizon is the most brutal band ever. What will my mom think? I like Bring Me the Horizon. Well, what do you think my mom's gonna say? She's gonna be so upset. My pastor, he's gonna be so mad at me. He's gonna be like, why are you liking that fag shit? Lars is like the most technical metal drummer of all time. Just listen to St. Anger like, Dude! All right, gentlemen and ladies, that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, it was fun for me. I apologize that I've only been doing about one video a week. I wanted to kind of bring that up. I've been working on the light EP a lot lately, and that's really the main reason why I have only been doing about one video a week is because all my time is going into getting that done, and I'm trying to hit, I'm trying to hit the headline of getting it out on November 11th. The, uh, the first single that is not the entire thing. It's gonna come out throughout the month of November, but the first single is gonna be on the 11th of November. That's where you will be able to pre-order the light EP. You will also be able to pre-order uh, pre dark EP if you did not get it last pre-order. So November 11th is when all the merch is gonna start. So definitely put that on your calendar if you wanna get it because I'm gonna do the same thing where the first like 250 people that do the light EP will get my next EP for free, whatever it may be, whenever I do it. So make sure you get that down. So if you can, if you want to be in the first 250, and also the first 250 that bought the dark EP, uh, I have your names. I haven't announced them yet. I haven't told any of you yet. So if you're wondering if you are one of them, you may you may be one of them. Um, I will. I'll go over that very soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you all. Please hit that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video or just say hi to me. I will try and uh, see your comment and say hi back. And hit that subscribe button if you have not already. I'm getting close to a million. So it would be awesome if I can uh, hit that goal um, sometime soon. So thank you. I'll see you all later.